Hey! Yo! Hey everyone, Andrew here bringing you another video review and today we're going to be doing from the DC Direct Hush Line Toy Fair exclusive Jason Todd. Let's take a look at that bad boy there. Now a little information about Jason. Jason is actually the second Robin and he's very much different from that of Dick Grayson in that he was a lot more rebellious, a lot more violent, and he took a lot more risks. This caused Batman to actually sideline Jason for his own safety. Of course, being Jason Todd and doing what he does best, he rebelled against Batman wishes. In an attempt to find out who his mother's real identity was, he got into a confrontation with the Joker. And the Joker beat him to death with the crowbar. Literally, he killed Jason Todd with the crowbar. And Jason stayed dead for quite a bit of time, but eventually he came back to life. And the first time we see him is in Batman Hush. And you're not sure whether or not it's Jason or not, because in the fight with Batman, the first half was Jason, but the second half he switched out with Clayface to observe Batman from a distance. And then he adopted the role of Red Hood. And in Under the Hood, we find out how Jason got back to life. Uh, Superboy Brian, being the girl that he is, punched a hole in the fabric of reality and brought Jason Todd back to life a few months after he died. Of course, Jason wasn't 100% there. He had brain damage. He was a walking zombie. You know, he, he didn't even know who he was. Uh, Talima Ghoul eventually got her hands on him and threw him into the Lazarus Pit with Rayshad Ghoul. And in the Lazarus Pit, he got brought back, fully back to life. Of course, being the Lazarus Pit is going to have the side effects. And, I mean, sharing with Rayshad Ghoul is like taking heroin, crack, crystal meth, marijuana, horse tranquilizer and drinking alcohol at the same time. It's just going to mess with your head. And he, he really became the anti-Batman from there on out. He would do what Batman did, but he would kill people to do it. And he very much resented Batman for not killing the Joker for what Joker did to Jason. Um, he adopted the role of Red Robin, but he quickly gave it up in Countdown. Now he's a contestant in the um, Battle of the Cow. With Jason, you either love him or you hate him. Um, I did not like him as Robin, but I loved him when they brought him back to life. And again, you know, a lot of people dislike Jason Todd mainly because he got brought back to life. Or they dislike DC for breaking, uh, bringing him back to life. But it's comic book. Do you really think Jason was going to stay dead? Honestly? Um, even with DC saying that, oh, we're never going to bring him back to life. Come on. It's comic book. He's going to come back to life. He was significant to Batman, so they're going to bring him back at some time. You guys should know that. But I love Jason Todd. I love how he's the anti-Batman. Now, enough about Jason. Let's talk about the figure itself. This, this is one of the figures I definitely wanted to get for the Hush Line. However, it is a Toy Fair exclusive, so getting your hands on it is actually really hard. You're not going to find it in stores that much, and really the only place you're going to get it is online. It's going to be pretty expensive. The figure itself is nicely detailed, and it is, it's pretty much the same as the Hush figure. Um, however, it has a different head bolt and it has an R on the suit instead of an H. Now, this figure has a lot of detail in it. it you can see the wrinkles in his um, armor, his padded armor. I mean, look at the flaps right there. It's pretty nice. He's got the straps for the trench coat. The head mold is very nicely detailed. has like a black with an underlined red for the uh, mask, which makes it look like it's a crimson red. Um, and it has a nice color scheme. Again, DC Direct figure is going to have great detail and great color scheme. Of course, being a DC Direct figure is going to have crappy articulation. Legs go up about that far and bend at the knees about that much. Arms go around and they go out instead of going back and they bend at the elbow like so. So the arms are quite unique in articulation. The head can turn side to side, but I'm not going to turn mine because it's fairly stiff and I don't want to break it. But on a whole, the figure is absolutely fantastic. Again, I'm really happy because I got a Jason Todd figure. I love Jason. And I'm happy because it's one of the best of the Hush figures. Now, again, getting your hands on this guy is pretty hard. Online, he costs up to 100 bucks. 100 bucks for a piece of plastic? That's ridiculous. But yes, he costs a lot of money online, and in a store he's probably going to cost around 60 bucks because he's exclusive. You were only going to get these guys at Toy Fair. So, um, being the cool guy my comic book store guy is, he actually gave it to me used, but mint condition used for 10 bucks. I mean, it's not like I need him in box. I was going to take him out of the box and throw it away anyways. So used mint condition with everything, the sand, everything, for 10 bucks. 
I got a pretty good deal. And of course the stand is the standard Batman stand that was used in Hush and I think it was used in Batman and Son and a few other Batman stuff. So whether or not you should get Jason Todd was well, an amazing figure, but I mean, do you really want to pay a hundred bucks for it? I think it's the discretion of the buyer. Um, I wouldn't pay a hundred bucks. I would only pay the ten bucks that I've paid for him. I wouldn't even go over twenty. But again, it's a great figure. Um, if you do get your hands on it for cheap, or if you see it for cheap, I suggest picking it up. Definitely, I, but I wouldn't pay over 20 bucks for him. Although that's going to be like almost impossible because everyone's going to overcharge for him. But whatever. With that said, Jason Todd, great character, great figure. Um, definitely pick him up if you get him for cheap. If not, then avoid him. But with that said, this is Andrew. I'm going to say peace out for now.